What's up guys, welcome to this episode of Mike's Life. Today we're looking at a pressure washer it was sent to me by a company off of Amazon. The box that it came in is gonna be a plain brown box. I won't be showing that in this video. Company's name is Scenesclur. Yeah, okay. Here, I'll type it out right here for you guys. That's the company name. Pressure washer that they sent me. There is no stats with it. It doesn't tell me the maximum uh, PSI that it does and GPM, the water flow coming out of it. But I'm gonna show you guys what they sent me. I'm gonna put it all together and then we'll do a test so we could see what the PSI is on this and water flow. So let's check out what came in the box. And there's the pressure washer. There's the name right there, C Swings. Okay, over here we're gonna have our on and off switch. Over here is gonna be where your water out comes. So this is where your pressure washer hose will attach. And then on the side here, it's gonna have places to clip stuff on here. And on the back of the unit, right there is gonna be your water inlets. Your garden hose connection goes here. And this is for a soap dispenser. Yeah, I'm not gonna really use it, but I will mount the soap dispenser on there so you guys can see it. The hose that it comes with is one of those very hard plasticky hoses. These are the ones that kink very easy yeah don't care for this there's your nozzles and this is just some attachments that come with it we're going to put it on there they give you the garden hose attachment there and a screwdriver to put this stuff all together the pressure washer hose is about 16 and a half feet i think or 16.4 and if i'm not mistaken your power cord is about 32 feet and it also has a gfci connection over here for safety, you'll have your little user manual. You're gonna have all your screws and stuff here with a little tool. This is the handle that's gonna mount on top. There's the actual gun and there's that soap dispenser thing. Remember, these soap dispensers do not do like a foam cannon foam. They just dilute the water with soap. So the first thing we'll do is grab the handle and we're gonna grab this piece. This is where you're gonna loop around your hose or your power cord, it depends. I'm not 100% sure which one it's gonna loop around, but we'll figure that out. So you're gonna see there's some slots there here it's gonna slot right inside here like that and as soon as you get it in there you're just gonna push it in and then on the other side you're gonna have your holes are gonna line up so you could screw it all in together so they do give you the screws and I'll be using the screwdriver that they provided now after that's done you're gonna see on the bottom here there's openings for you to pass screws through so this is gonna attach right up here I actually got to put the machine out a little bit because my cabinet's in the way, but this would go right here, and then you would add your four screws. So now right there on the side, that's where this slides in. All right, and that's gonna hold your soap dispenser. And on the other side, you have another place where you could slot, you'll slot this piece. This is what's gonna hold your wand. So I'm just gonna grab that and push it down. Then you got your little uh, soap dispenser thingy. You're just gonna pop that in, pop the cap there, just that keep it out of the way. So we'll keep that there. And then right here is gonna be your hose connection. That's, there we go, a little better angle. So this is gonna screw right into this. This is plastic into metal. Yeah, I don't like this. Is, you have to be very careful when threading it and do not over tighten this or else you'll break the plastic. So just hand tighten it right there should be good. So next thing you take off the plastic off of here. This is where your pressure washer hose gets hooked up to. This is metal. This is an M22 by 14 connection. So you're just gonna push it in and then thread it on. And now we'll grab the wand, these two pieces, and these interlock inside here. You just put it in and turn and it'll lock into place. It's locked in. And then on the other side right here, you unscrew this part. All right, you got a brass connection here. And then this piece screws in to here. They also include this tool here so you could tighten this down. And then for nozzles, you're gonna get your zero degree, 15, 25, 40. And this is like the soap dispensing nozzle. Now when washing cars, the ones I recommend, recommend would be either the 25 or the 40. Zero and the 15 do not use for car washing. That's gonna be more for your pressure washing if you wanna remove dirt off your driveway or your siding or off the brick and so forth. Got my water hose connected. Everything is connected here. I still haven't turned it on yet. Power is on, got the power on here. Let's turn it on. Nothing happened. That's because you need to press the button here. There you go. Now it's got pressure. 
I got the 25 degree nozzle on there and you could see what happens here. <laughs> the hose, this hose is garbage. All right, so now that everything's connected, I have no nozzle on there. I'm gonna run it just to run water through there just in case there's any metals or anything from inside the system. So this way it doesn't get trapped in your nozzle. Run it for a good, uh, I don't know, at least 10 seconds. Now we'll pop the 25 degree nozzle on there. Make sure it's on tight. Let's press the button. There we go. All right, not bad. But what we want to check is the water flow, how much water is coming out through that nozzle. So I got this bucket here. It's going to tell me liters and gallons of water. And I got a stopwatch here on my phone. So I'm going to run it for one minute. So I will turn this on the same time I press start on here. Ready, set, go. All right, I will right, we'll pull this out, lay this down, and let's see how much water we got in here. It looks to be about one, like 1 1.4 gallons. I think that's what it looks like here. Actually, let me put it here, and we'll go to liters. You could see it there. So it's in between four and five liters, and gallons, it looks to be around, uh, that looks more like one point, that's gotta be around 1.2 gallons per minute. So we wanna see now pressure on this. In order for me to test the pressure of this machine, I need to put this attachment on there, but I can't because of this here. It's like a proprietary connection, no good. So I'm gonna use my own hose on here and we'll use their nozzle that it comes with. And this way we'll be able to distinguish what the PSI of this machine is. We already know gallons per minute, it's about 1.2 gallons per minute. Now we're gonna check the PSI. All right guys, a little update. The connection there is not an M22 by 14, it's M22 by 15. And here we go. All right, so as you guys saw with their nozzle, it's 1000 PSI. 1.2 GPM. That's not too good. One more time. Yeah, that's not good at all. If you wanted to, let's say, put a different nozzle on there to allow more water flow GPM, your pressure is going to drop also. Not the greatest. Look, it's doable for car washing, but like I said, for a thousand PSI for car washing is actually perfect, but for cleaning uh, cement and stuff like that, it's not the greatest for house cleaning. This is more for washing your car, but you're not gonna get to the extreme of water out of this one here, like a, something at least like two GPMs a minute, which is two gallons per minute. You're gonna get 1.2 gallons per minute with this. All right, Mike, so what are your final thoughts of this pressure washer? The pressure washer itself is not bad. It actually looks nice. I have no issues with it. The issues I do have with it is that right there, that hose is garbage. It's not pliable at all. And I don't like that it has its own connection right over there. That's not good. I want to be able to use my own hose the way I got it here with my own gun with this. But like I said before, you only need to get 1.2 GPM of water out of here. And the pressure on this is about a thousand PSI with their nozzles. Now I looked online at the price on this and it was like $170. I think that's too much for this. Sorry there, uh, Singlural, whatever your name is for the company, but I think it's too much money. You're better off going to like Home Depot and getting yourself that $100. I think it's what it is. It's like $89 or $100, whatever it is. The Ryobi pressure washer. It's a small, small little pressure washer and it does much better numbers than this for almost half the price. So yeah, um, I don't recommend it. Only, oh, the only way I would recommend this is if you're not, you don't like Ryobi stuff, you like the way this pressure washer looks and you wanna use it just to clean your car, then it's fine. But I would upgrade the hose. Hose needs to be upgraded and the gun. So you're gonna have to get a new hose, new gun. Is it worth it for all that money to invest on uh, basically your hose and gun it's gonna be more money than the actual washer. Yeah, so I don't know if I would invest the money into 
this pressure washer. All right, guys, I think I'm gonna end it here. There is the pressure washer. I will have links down below for that. I'll also have links to a lot of the connections that I use, the Quick Connects, the M14 adapter. I'll have all that down below for you guys to check it out. I'll even put a link to my favorite hose that's from Amazon. Not the hose that I'm using that's right here. This is more of a higher end hose, but I have a hose which is this black one that you see here, this hose, but in blue. That is really nice. It's an Uber Flex hose, so I'll have a link down below for that and the pressure guns that I use. And if you haven't already, guys, here's right here is my Instagram handle. Check it out. Also, leave a comment down below, a like, a subscribe. And thank you all for watching this episode of Mike Life.